Hey you guys, Marche Hannah here, or as some of you all know me as Oracle DBA Girl from Online DBA Academy. So what I want to do here is talk to you guys about VirtualBox. Now before I get into the topic, as you guys can see what the topic is on the screen, I want to talk to you guys about what I'm trying to do. What I'm going to do with VirtualBox is I'm going to do a mini series. This is going to be for anyone who don't know what Oracle VirtualBox is, how to install it, if you don't know about Oracle Linux or how to install Oracle Linux, then this series is going to be for you. I'll just start by saying Linux is the foundation for your Oracle career. If you're looking to get into an Oracle career, Linux is going to be that foundation. So you want to make sure you know Linux. And VirtualBox plays a big part in this because VirtualBox is basically used as a test environment for your Oracle Linux installation, your Oracle database installation. A lot of people, they always come to me, well, Marche, how do I become an Oracle DBA? What do I have to learn first? Well, the first thing that you need to really know, in my opinion, is Linux because most companies, they're going to build their database on Linux. You do have some companies who will put it on Windows, but that's going to be rare and far in between. In all my training videos, we're going to talk about Linux. Now, like I stated before, VirtualBox is used as a test environment for your Oracle uh, installations, any installations you do. And so that's what we're going to use it for. Now, if you can see here, this video is strictly about what is Oracle VirtualBox. We will do an installation video next, but here we're just going to talk about Oracle VirtualBox. Now you can see here, I have a diagram and we're going to go through this diagram and I'm going to explain to you what Oracle VirtualBox is based off this diagram. So we're going to look at the bare basics. At the bare basic, you have a computer. So let's talk about what a computer is. For the most part, a computer is going to be your hardware. You have your RAM, you have a motherboard, you have the mouse you have the keyboards, you have all this hardware that makes up your computer. Um, and that's going to be the bare basics. Once you have a computer, you have to then, um, if you build it from scratch, you have to put in a CD and load that CD up. And on that CD, it's going to have an operating system. Now, once you have a computer, that's what you're going to do next. You're going to install an operating system. For any, any of you who don't know what an operating system is, your operating system is going to be Windows. It's going to be Linux. It's going to be the Mac OS, uh, whatever version they are on. They always have different versions of the operating system. So those are going to be your main three uh, operating systems. There are more. You have Unix, but we won't dive too deep into your operating system. But the operating system Basically, that's going to be the software that links the hardware and other software together. The operating system sort of makes everything work within your computer. If you tell the keyboard, you know, if you type, hey, it's going to be the operating system that's working behind the scene to show that, hey, in whatever application you're using. Or if you try to copy and paste from one application to the next. The operating system will give you the ability to do that. So again, the operating system will be the bridge between the hardware and any software that you're using. So now we'll move on to software and applications. Software and applications are going to be things that you click on and use on your operating system, such as Skype. You may use Skype for video calling. You may use Microsoft Word to create documents. You may use Photoshop to create images. Uh, you may use Adobe Reader to read your documents. You use Google as the internet browser. You use Chrome as the internet browser. Uh, those type, that's software and applications. You can do various different things with the software and application depending on which one you're using. So next, that brings us to our virtual machine or our virtual box. 
So basically what a virtual machine is going to be in its simplest form, a virtual machine is going to be software that sits on top of your computer, but it acts as a computer. So to make this easier, VirtualBox is going to be like a computer that you install on your actual computer. So for instance, you will install Google Chrome on your computer, right? In Google Chrome, you can use Google Chrome to browse the web. So for VirtualBox, VirtualBox will be a computer that you install on your actual computer and you can use it as a computer. And this is what makes VirtualBox so powerful. The thing is, VirtualBox will be like a separate computer. So let's say, for instance, you get VirtualBox on your machine. The next thing you have to do is you have to install that operating system. As you can see, it starts over. Because VirtualBox is just like a computer. So once you have a computer, what do you have to do? You have to install an operating system. So because VirtualBox is a separate computer, you have to install the operating system on it. And that's where your test environment comes from. So you have VirtualBox, and then what we would do is we would install Oracle Linux on it. Um, once we install Oracle Linux on it, guess what? The same thing, you have to install software and applications. Now, any of you guys who want to be Oracle DBAs, what do you think we're going to install on it? I hope you got that right, but yes, we're going to install a database. So VirtualBox will allow you to create a test system. This is why you want to use VirtualBox. And what makes VirtualBox so awesome and so amazing is it's a separate computer from your computer. Back in the day when I first became a DBA, I didn't know much about VirtualBox. So what I did was I installed Oracle on my actual computer. And when I did that, guess what? My computer crashed and I lost everything. So that's the beauty of using VirtualBox. When you install VirtualBox on your computer and you install the operating system on the VirtualBox and you install the database on the VirtualBox, if anything happens to the operating system or if anything happens to your database, you didn't lose anything. All you have to do is uninstall VirtualBox. No different if you know, you had Windows and you installed Google Chrome or you installed another browser, Firefox, and it had a lot of viruses and it was just causing viruses. Well, what would you do? You would uninstall Google Chrome. You would clean Google Chrome up and then you will reinstall it. It's the exact same thing when it comes to VirtualBox. So I hope this makes it clear. VirtualBox is nothing but a test environment. It's software that you install on your actual computer to utilize as a computer. You can install anything that you can install on a real computer, but the beauty in it is if something messes up on that virtual box, if something crashed on that virtual box, you didn't lose anything. All you have to do is uninstall um, whatever software you're using, uninstall virtual box, and your computer is just fine. We didn't touch your actual computer. So I hope this has been helpful, you guys. I just explained to you what is Oracle VirtualBox. If you have any questions, any comments, any suggestions, anything you all want to share with me, please comment. You guys know by now I answer every question that you all ask me. If you could, please like, please subscribe, please share, please get this video out, you guys. Again, I'm doing a mini series, so. Be on the lookout for how to install Oracle VirtualBox. Be on the lookout for how to use VirtualBox and also how to install Oracle Linux. With that being said, you guys, I am signing off. Happy studies.